Hey guys, it's Paul the Dipshit here, and today I'm doing a um, game theory about Max and what's gonna happen after episode 3 in the season finale, episode 5. And I'm gonna like throw around an idea what I think will be happening. And it starts oh right my here. God. What is happening now? <clears throat> so I originally was gonna do a video, um, about all the butterfly effect notes that I took and um, compare that and just simplify the butterfly effect but I decided well I just had this idea just now actually that I'm a uh, maybe I can prove something so right now we see Max getting a new power being able to go back in time by looking at pictures and if you ever seen the butterfly effect with Ashton, Ashton Kutcher I'll have a video of that right now it's gonna be in a little corner or something, and it will show him being. He'll it will start by him shanking um, a couple of uh, guys, and then he'll actually um, start reading one of his journals, and um, he'll uh, go back in time, and so he won't be in prison any anymore. But he'll go back in time, almost like this picture right here. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. Oh, what is this? William is here. And Chloe is just a kid. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. I'm 18 years old inside my 13 year old self. How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Alright, so now. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. So now we're about five years back in time when uh, Max is not 18, but she's 13 now. Kind of like in um, the video I just um, showed you. Ashton Kutcher's right there is probably 20-something in the movie. I'll let her know that. Not in real life, I don't know. But um, in the movie, he's probably acting like a 20-year-old. And he gets put back in time into his 13-year-old teenager body with um, his friends right there. Right before an accident just happened. Sort of like this. And in the end of um, uh, The Butterfly Effect... Or I meant in the um yeah in the end of the butterfly effect spoiler alert if you haven't seen it um Ashton Kutcher actually has to kill himself to prevent all these bad accidents from ever happening. So I I'm probably predicting because I think they um took that one part where Club, or when Max can go back in time. I think they um took that from the butterfly effect and I think they're actually gonna kill off Max. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious So that's my game theory. I think they will kill off Max to prevent Chloe from um ever getting hurt from this ever happening. Because if you see it, um Chloe actually gets really hurt because of what because of Max saving her. So if Max wasn't alive, Max wouldn't have saved him, which made never Chloe or which made Chloe not have an accident where she's in a wheelchair and all that. <clears throat> So my theory is they're going to kill off Max to prevent anything else. I think that will be in the fifth episode, but I'm probably wrong because I don't think that would be a um, good ending, but uh, I'm just throwing an idea around. So comment what you think and like right now.